Hello from Manila. Some of you may have noticed we're in the same location because after our rant from part one, we're going to continue to part two. This is when the story starts to get better, I would say. So we got the grab taxi from this place, from this previous place. So we're going from Quezon City all the way to Makati. Lai told the grab taxi driver, oh, can you go quickly? It's a bit of an emergency. Mm. And to be fair to the Koya grab driver, he so flew. Yeah. He, he really flew there. I mean, it was 3 a.m. at this time, like I was saying before. But we was there in, from, in about 20 minutes, I'd say. So when we arrived in Makati Medical, we were both exhausted. We still haven't slept. It's probably 3.30 a.m. And around 4 a.m. Around 4 a.m. Mm. And what happened, because they took my blood pressure there, they threw me up on the bed straight away as soon as we arrived in emergency. There was no messing around. Lai quickly explained to them what had happened. Mm. And what did they do? You gave them... I we gave them the... Because the doctor gave me... From the first hospital, they gave me the... ECG. ECG result and everything. The recommendation as well. And so when the moment they saw the result of the ECG, they're like, oh, it's not ischemia. So imagine that, guys. Imagine, like, they were basically telling me all this, making Lai panic, making me panic also. And then when we get to Makati Med, he just literally looked at it not even a cardiologist, just a yeah. general, general nurse. Yeah, they completely and ignored all the paper we have from the previous. previous hospital. So they're like, oh, we're gonna run our own test to you. And then they basically pushed me right into the emergency room, yeah, I suppose. and they put all the thing on your chest for the heart monitor, you know? Yeah, so straight away in Makati Med, I was hooked up to the heart monitor. Um, they come, the nurse, asked me what had happened, what was wrong. We kind of explained everything that had happened, what we did in the previous place, everything that had gone on from the previous story you've heard. And she just said, okay, um, I've checked the results. Don't worry, your heart's not clogged. Yeah. She said that first and foremost. Like, but everything is clear, you know? Yeah, and she said, you have a regular heartbeat. Everything's fine. It's not irregular. No cause for concern, but... It's like weird that you've got like dizziness and this, so we won a run test. Another nurse come in, she took my blood like really quick. Like all this happened now, guys, within about five ten minutes, really yeah, quick, it's so quick, really efficient. And then I looked at Lai, and you just looked like Lai looked way better. In the other place, you just looked like you were like yeah, I don't know. I was completely I was you were just gone. Yeah, panicking as well because I don't really know what's going on as well. Mm. And then I think we kind of explained to the nurse in Makati Med, and she was just like, "Yeah, it seems like you went to a family hospital. Just ignore that reading." Mm -hmm. um, I told. I even told the nurse the machine was like super old, and she was like, "Trust me," she said. The ECG here is fine. In Makati Med, it's all like high class equipment, like yeah. the best equipment you can get. Like the newest technology that they can have. Yeah. yeah. And then what happened after that, lie? They just, they took my bloods to rule out any cardio um, disease. Yeah. Everything, like for the blood, um, x ray, ECG. Oh, yeah, I did a chest x ray there yeah, too, the right? Chest x ray, which confirms that you have you just have the muscle spasms on your neck yeah so there was a like my spine she said at the top of my like spine my neck it's not great and that's causing me to have muscle like spasms down my left arm and mm -hmm. into my chest because it's all connected and up my neck yeah then i was just back in the bed obviously on an iv drip as well I was like starting, I was tired of course, we were both extremely tired. Exhausting. I was not, I was not as tired as Lai because I think I was just hooked up to IV, I'd had so much like IV pumped into me so I was a bit like, a bit of energy still. And yeah, it was just like a really, really good experience in Makati Med, I could not could not fault it. And how much was that um, initial one, babe? The total bill. In the first one? Yeah, um, it cost like around 20,000. 
So it costs 20,000 pesos. So if you compare the two, 20,000 pesos is actually very good because yeah. we like they just did everything so quick. We was there for like an hour or two hours in Makati Med. They did everything very quickly and very efficiently. Mm-hmm. But because it was an emergency room, they just, the nurse told me this as well. She said like, you have to follow up for more checks because this is just to make sure you haven't had a heart attack, you know, mm-hmm. like they just, it's an emergency room, you know, they're just ruling out like something that could basically end you. Yeah. And yeah, that was pretty much the first experience in Makati Medical. Then I had to do a follow up there and they wanted to run a few more MRI scans on me. That's when it got really like kind of pricey. The MRI, yeah. So I had to get an MRI and that alone cost like, with the doctor fee and everything, it cost 32. Yeah, 34. Was it 34? So that cost 34K. I've just had to do a few special tests for the blood and then I'll get the results of that in the next few days. So yeah, it was like a really contrast of experiences for me. And I know people in the comments are definitely gonna say like, you get what you pay for. Yeah, you really get what you pay for, you know? Mm. But like- That's the reality of life. Lies from Manila, Mm. so, You've obviously had experiences in hospitals before. Yeah, but as much as possible, if like you know, if it can be cured by just you know, cause like Asian mom loves ointment and everything, <laughs> massage. Yeah. So it's just like. Um, yeah, you don't. They're not like going to the hospital yeah. frequently. But um, yeah, cause it's really different, cause you know, in private hospital. But the thing is that, um. I grew up here, so I kind of know like if it's like public hospital, private hospital, and if it's good or bad based on the reviews as well. So like, for for me, like from my experience as a foreigner, I'm gonna say like, don't, obviously your health, you can never like, um, what you call it, skimp on your health. So you just go to the best place and pay for it. Yeah. Um, because like, okay. I wouldn't say we really made a mistake going to the first place. It was just like we were there. Yeah, it was just like because it was an emergency and you felt really dizzy. And I was at ease at first because... It was okay at first. Yeah, it was okay. And I kind of trust them at first because you felt better the first time they put the IV IV drip drip on you. So it's kind of like, oh, okay, they know what to do. Mm. And so when that thing, like about the ischemia and stuff, blood heart, stuff like that, and the pain, I mean the medicine that they want to give you is not really related to what you're feeling. Yeah, it's, it's not really good. good yeah. But all I want to say is actually everyone at Makati Medical, all I can say is like, thank you. They're really like top class nurses and doctors there, right, Lai? Mm, yeah. And of course, thank you to Lai because Lai stayed with me the whole time. Of course. Two, it was like going on this for two days, right? Yeah, it was sleepless nights for the both of us. Yeah, sleepless nights, but we just have to wait for a few more results. But all I can say is Makati Medical was like a really like good experience for me. Um, like one of probably one of the better hospital experiences I've had. I don't know, is it always like that there? But I presume it's always pretty good there what do you think um i cannot really say because you don't know <laughs> yeah that's that's the fear for me like the hospitals <laughs> but like okay life uh, like filipinos if like for example if you got like really sick like you're gonna go to makati medical yeah mm-hmm. but you have like obviously it's a more pro- it's a private hospital or not yeah it's a private hospital so like for you to go there you have an insurance um we can use our government insurance with which is like feel health or if you have if you're working in a company because if you're a, an employee here in the philippines they give you like the hmo or the health insurance oh. and they cover the expenses of your hospital bills though i'm not really sure if they completely um cover the cost yeah. yeah but it's just like to lessen the you know the hospital bills yeah it's a big help 
And I know a lot of people that watch me a long time are gonna be complaining to me because I had to pay the full amount, guys, because I don't have a travel insurance. Um, because I've had travel insurances before and I've had to go and do light stuff and they just haven't paid the full amount also. So generally, I'm never sick. It was a real like shock for me. Um, first time in a long time I've been sick, but yeah, I've had to pay all this amount. The total bill from Makati Medical probably racked up to be about 50 something K. 50 something. I'm, we'll just say. Yeah. Um, excluding all the follow ups to the cardiologist, the medicines. We could just say 60K. We could just round it up to 60K. You guys can let me know what you think about that price. For me, like, I suppose it's not too bad considering it's your health and they really ran like every MRI and heart test they could. They even did a heart echo thing, an ECG. So... Oh, that's better be safe than sorry. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. So yeah, that's, that's it for the best hospital experience. Like I said, you'll see clips of how my catty med looked a lot better for sure a lot cleaner all the staff over there every nurse if any of them watch it that treating me over there or doctor they really know their stuff and made me feel at ease and could explain everything perfectly of course in english like yeah. they didn't even have to talk to lie which i think you were happy about yeah because they can really because they're using the all the medical terms so they can really explain everything to you define everything and they are helpful because stuff i didn't understand right i asked and she just like of course dumbed it down and explained it you know exactly. um because some of the medical terms all of us like will not know mm -hmm. so they really like explain it thoroughly to you and at the end they also give you a list of everything they've done your symptoms, causes, what it could be, medications to take, and I just think it was a really like good experience. Yeah. So, but the most important thing is that everything is clear so far. Yeah, just a few more bloods to come back, but everything major is clear. Yeah, at least. Which is a uh, which is a uh, relief. Yeah, that's it for the best hospital here in Manila, Makati Medical. I'm gonna tell you guys if you have a problem. I would suggest going there. And yeah, that's it for this video. See you on the next one. Ciao. Ciao.